The jury in the trial against Brett Peter Cowan has heard from people who were closest to the alleged killer, including his ex-wife. A former police officer also revealed he questioned the accused a fortnight after Daniel Morecambe disappeared. Tracy Moncrief is Brett Peter Cowan's former wife. The mother to two of his children today became a witness at his murder trial. They met in 1998 through a church next to the Keel Mountain Road overpass where Daniel Morecambe disappeared. On Sunday, December 7, 2003, the day Daniel vanished, Tracy attended the church at 9.30 a.m. Cowan didn't go. When she returned home, I settled my son and I made some lunch for both of us. She said her husband left home around 1 p.m. to get a mulcher. She said she didn't see him return but heard the machine. I wouldn't know what time, but later said it would have been around 2.40 to 3 p.m. Cowan stayed outside. She said he had a goatee at the time and would sometimes grow his hair down to his shoulders and he'd often stand on one leg. Witnesses have testified the day Daniel disappeared, they saw a man behind a boy in a red T-shirt standing on one leg. Leg. Former constable Kenneth King revealed he visited the accused at his home two weeks after Daniel disappeared. He recorded the conversation. It can't be found, but he took notes. When Cowan was asked where he was on December 7, he said he travelled alone to Nambour. He stated that he went at 1.30 to go and get a mulcher. He said he drove past the overpass where Daniel was waiting for a bus. He claimed not to see any people or vehicles. The court heard Cowan allowed police to take a sample of his DNA, as well as photographs of him, his tattoos, car and its tyres. This was a clean-shaven Cowan on December 21, 2003. These are photos of his tattoos and his car. Soon after, police examined the Pajero. They couldn't find fingerprints matching Daniel's. Carly Waters, 7 News.